why don't we jump to age tech you're a co-founder of the firm that helps with the recruiting uh technical talent could you tell yeah. us yeah why you do what you do <laughs> yeah it's a good question actually i asked myself that <laughs> <laughs> yep um, share with us we no one no one will hear yeah 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 no so yeah we, i i set up edge tech um just uh coming up to four years ago now um with my two two co-founders um prior to that we were all working in recruitment um and we really saw an opportunity in the market certainly in the emerging technology space you know involving things around rpa intelligent automation machine learning ai we saw a real gap in the market where you know the need for talent is really high there's a lot of demand um and there's not enough supply so you know we felt that we could fit in um really well we'd done it previously and we thought you know when we set up edge tech it would be really good to work with some exciting businesses so you know we work with organizations all shapes and sizes from you know growing scale ups and startups that have just received funding all the way through to giant enterprise organizations that are implementing these technologies so no day you know no day for us looks the same but it's it's really exciting to work with quite a range of, of organizations and we do that in the uk we do it across europe um and we also do it into the us as well and uh, you mentioned about the you know the types of positions that we recruit for um again that that does vary as well so we we work on anything from you know developers and architects project managers all the way through to um you know sales people operations marketing you know for, for vendors and, and startups so our, our you know the, the roles that we work on varies but in terms of the technologies that we focus into or the areas at least it is very focused around you know that rpa intelligent automation process mining um an ai market so yeah that's a that's a bit about us Wonderful, wonderful. So in the years that you've been with industry, how do you think a uh, future of work is changing and therefore recruiting processes are changing with the help of AI, with the help of automation? Yeah, yeah. So I think the market over the past couple of years has shifted quite a lot. Um, you know, our RPA has been around for a while, but it's still an extremely hot topic at the moment. There are more and more organizations that are looking to adopt it. The same with all the other uh, technologies that I mentioned as well, you know, in the intelligent automation and AI space. Those ones are, are, are slightly slower to adopt um, because they're a little bit newer, but we'll start to see a big increase of these over the next few years as well. Um, but I think due to you know due to covid and the way that the world has been working over the past couple of years naturally everyone's been completely remote you know you and i now we're doing it over video um, which is great and it's allowed people to work in a much different way um but what we're seeing now is quite a big shift in a lot of people's priorities so you know when we when we first started the business or four five six years ago a lot of the conversations that we would have with people who are looking for a new change in their career would always be centered around right can i get a bit more money what's the salary look like you know can i get a bit of an uplift and now the conversations have shifted slightly to you know can i work remotely can i work from anywhere can i work any hours that i want um you know is there that sort of flexibility so the the priorities that we see in, in a lot of people has, has really shifted and i think um even though these technologies are still quite new um it's allow people to you know get jobs that they wouldn't have necessarily got before um so there's a lot more selection for job seekers out there but there is a lot more competition for the organizations that are looking to hire as well so um and i don't think we're going to see that curve sort of flatten out for the next few years at least anyway so yeah it's interesting I hear you. I hear you. How do you think the um, applicants are changing, the candidates overall? Because what I think I'm seeing out there is that college degree is not even a mandatory step anymore. You can get through boot camps. You can get any kind of backgrounds to enter technical career as long as, again, you have uh, needed skills and you have the passion and you have the enthusiasm to learn more and just persevere, you know, on that path. Do you yeah. see that kind of traditional, right, candidate profile changing? Yeah, we've, we've, we've definitely seen that change completely. Um, you know, a number of years ago on, on, on job specs and when we took job briefs from, from clients, it would be, you know, we'd, we'd really like someone who's been to university and done... Uh, 
a fairly relevant degree. Um, but nowadays, you're right. If 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 someone's got some real world pra practical experience, or even if they're entry level and they've done some courses online, um, and there are there's so much available now, um, even with you know these new technologies that come out, there's so much out there that you can learn and co free courses that you can take or or even pay for yourself. And I think if we were to present someone who had that experience compared to someone who had no experience but came from university, I think nowadays that the client would probably take someone with that experience and having not been to university. So that has shifted quite a lot as well. Um, and I think because of the changes, certainly over here in the UK to the prices of university, I think more and more people are opting not to go and actually get into work earlier, which I don't think is a bad thing because they're getting some good experience. And if they're in the right, you know, in the right sector and they're doing the right thing, then it actually helps them further down the line compared to someone who goes to university for three years graduates and doesn't have any experience and they're almost starting at that same point from when the other person did but just three years later so yeah unless you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer or, or something like that um yeah i mean we've, we've seen it shift quite a bit